Yeah. What's your strategy for winning today? Oh, I don't have one. You all are really great at this, and so. I'm probably just gonna cut out everything else you said and just put in the part where you said I don't have a plan. Leisha, are you able to share any of your plan for what the uh, the plan is for today? I'm under yeah. contract. Yeah. So I can't say a thing. Fair enough. I'm also under contract. So <laughs> yeah. Looking at take people are like scoping out all the different supplies that there are available and kind of pre-planning their ideas. Dylan's already planning to beat me because that's. Oh yeah. Garrett's only prerequisite for him today is that they don't lose to me. They. Whatever happens, as long as they, they can come in ninth place as long as I'm in tenth. <laughs> Cusco, don't try to horn in on what I'm doing. I'm making a plan. I found a vine. I'm not using the vine. I'm not going to be using the vine. That's not part of my... We're not planning how we're going to beat you at all. <laughs> Please go away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, this is what I really want to ask. It's an honest question. Why is it so important that if you lose to anybody, it's not me? Anybody, you could lose to anybody except for me. Why is that important to you? Because... In all ways, in the rest of our lives, you're always beating me. <laughs> uh, okay, fair enough. I'll let you win then. I've got my one thing, Brian. This is my one thing. <laughs> let me have it. Yes, a full. It's a, a full, full T-Rex skeleton. Size. If we're allowed one personal item, and Clint's is, so it's supposed to be less than one third of the enclosures, that or less than half the enclosures. Yeah, most of this is not the personal item. Well, we're all intrigued and waiting. Hey, Brian, how's it going, man? Let me grab Hi, Thomas. Either. It's Thomas, everybody. Long time no see. How have you guys been? They're not, have allowed, you been? they're not allowed to talk to you about that. It's oh, top secret yeah, information. Awesome. You know that? Um, I did see the cookies, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah. I should go take a look at it. You guys should see these cookies. It's pretty awesome. So this is the room where all of the building will take place, just like the last few years. Not that I've been here the last few years since we won the first year. Uh, but bigger enclosures this time around. But look at these. I'm 100% certain that's the first time there's ever been a cookie with my face on it. It looks like cookie. paper, but it's it's printed on fondant, so oh, you can eat so it. Can eat. I'm, okay. well, I'm guessing. I mean, that sounds so cliche and dumb, but that's true. I don't. I really don't care if we I win or not. I'm just, I'm just happy to be here. Let's face it. Let's face it. Dave. Garrett's gonna win. We all know that Garrett's gonna win. Yeah. Okay, we can all go home now. We so, don't need to do this. But G Dave, what does it mean to roll someone in the parking lot? That means give them a giant hug oh. and let them know how much we appreciate them. <laughs> this is my secret weapon. Dana Aurora Johnson. Yeah, this is why we won the first time. And so if we, if anything happens today where we get like placing high, it's, it's all... All right. And if we fail horribly, it's also my fault. No, no, no. That would be, be me. That would be me. That would be me. It would be me getting in the way. Adam, what's what's your plan for today? Oh, yeah. Okay, so we brought a gaggle of beavers. That's our, our plan is that we're going to, we have them chopping down trees right now so we can use the lumber. And also they're chopping down all the pallets that Garrett was going to use. And also if someone say like a Garrett or a Brian Cusco does better than us, then boom, we can actually sick the beavers on them to start biting at their ankles. And then we can use their shin bones in our enclosure. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that's very uh, elaborate. The plan? Yeah. So we can't tell you the plan yet. You'll find out the plan in a few hours. Emily, yeah. what's your plan for the day? <laughs> like, how are you going to win this thing? I'm just going to leave the building as soon as we say go. I'm done once it starts. I don't have to build. <laughs> Smart. Smart. These guys are going to carry me the whole day. We always do. <laughs> We've got a bunch of different challenges that we've got to complete in order to get our clues to get advantage at which supplies we get, just like we've done in previous years. But this has got to be my favorite thing so far, this little puzzle. All right, Clint, no pressure. This is not for all the marbles. No, no. it better not be because I am really bad at this. Again. <laughs> Try again. Try again. Better luck next time. Here's the gist of the morning challenges. There are these boxes, and inside of these boxes are puzzle pieces to our puzzle that we need to solve that is also a word puzzle and a physical puzzle. And the first clue to unlock one of our boxes is there's all these snakes on the ground over here, little rubber snakes, and we've got to stand behind this chalk line using those little hooks and try and get those rubber snakes, and one of those snakes has the code on its belly. The second thing we need to do to unlock our second box, which all the boxes need to be unlocked, is we have to fill up these little water dishes over here with water from this bucket, and then carry it across back to the other side of the parking lot, over to these buckets that are on this teeter-totter seesaw type of thing, and counterweight the sandbags on the other end of the teeter-totter to reveal the next code that's going to be on a flag on the other side of that teeter-totter. And then the third challenge is the one that I'll have Dave explain to you over here. All right, so you've got to get this golf ball up this snake. 
all the way over here, all the way up to that hole using these pulley thingies and this. Or you can just grab it. Put <laughs> it. That's, that felt not good. <laughs> Gotta stay hydrated. These things are demanding. Oh, gotta take the lid off. So since we won the challenge, we get first pick of stuff, and we're starting here because this is where all the cool stuff is. Oh, I'm sorry. I mean, can you imagine wanting to build an enclosure and having all of this just at your access, just for the, like, this is what you have to choose from. This, this amazing stuff. This is our team. Oh, apparently we have to stand in the box. I was guarding a piece over there, but we have to stay in the box? I don't know. Why are you at this corner? What's this corner all about? Let me feel at this corner. I just want to see what it feels like. It feels good. Does it feel good because of how close it is to the stuff? Nobody puts Costco in the corner. <laughs> You're going to sell this? What platform is this going on? Uh, I feel like you have enough mass just to push me out of the way if you wanted to. <laughs> then you go to the gym where so I can battle Costco for spots in the green square. Yeah, yeah, let's, let's put them up there. Let's yeah. throw them out there. Oh, it's in there. Oh. It's going to be a fun week, right? Fun oh, week, yeah. fun day? Yeah, fun day. Yeah. Fondue. Standing outside of the box. <laughs> I want to see what it feels like to stand in the box you just can. because I just want to see what it feels like. Oh. It feels like glory. Is it, is it like a flip thing? Like the winners are the losers? Is that what we're doing? <laughs> oh, you won. Now stay in that box while they take all the stuff. For three hours. <laughs> what are we doing right now? Uh, waiting for Emily to get back. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Yes! yes. This isn't the best, but oh, you know what? Actually, it kind of is. What do you think? I've got in my my in here. So, in my my secret item that I've got, my personal item from home, there's a bunch of stuff that could actually work in here. I've got there's a bunch of bunch of farm animals in here that can just go in like a farm little pen. But this is the pig pen. Hey! Hey! <laughs> yes! <laughs> I've seen people use it for bird toys too. Oh, yeah. yeah, birds to hang out. It can't be used for anything but its intended purpose. Oh. Including in the build off. <laughs> <laughs> so that means uh, it's not supposed to go in an enclosure, so we can't include it? Is that what you're saying? No, it, it, he, ha he can use it in the enclosure, but it must be supporting belts and ties, and that's mm. it. Okay. If an animal ever climbs right. on it, disqualify. Belt snake. It's the what now? We, we can only buy a set of boots. They don't sell just singular boots. <laughs> I love the I love the new twists. Twists make it the best. Oh, I'm just grabbing it now. How did you guys get to the front, Dave? How did I get to the front? Am I in the front? <laughs> Sorry, I'm gonna leave you guys here so that I have more hands to grab stuff. Oh God. 
sorry for leaving you. That might have been the most exciting part of the whole build-off, so I apologize for leaving you on top of the enclosure. <laughs> We can cool. get more stuff. Maybe. So a big part of obviously anybody's enclosure, I would think, including ours, is uh, the personal item that we brought from home is crucial to what this enclosure is going to eventually be. And Aurora found some dairy cow. <laughs> <laughs> dairy cow pill bugs, which uh, these little dairy cow isopods actually fit in with the theme 100% perfectly, so pretty cool. I, I can't wait for you guys to see how it turns out. Both Clint and Alicia and us are doing some, some white paint, so I'm curious to see what they're doing. If it's I, I don't know what they're doing, but I know what we're doing. It's got white paint. <laughs> Probably the best part of the day so far. Just watching paint dry. Hey Brian. Yo. Do you like my wood? So I thought for our secret item that we were given, we obviously let's use it for like the pig pen and whatnot, but I think what we're gonna actually do is just pull the bottom out and leave this together and make this like our fence that goes across for the pig pen. Yes, pretty much. yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we couldn't have asked for a better item for it our guaranteed. Uh, yeah, I mean, the, I mean, the yeah, boot, sure the boot would have, the boot would have been okay too, but would have yeah. been okay, but not as okay as this. Hi everybody, I'm Bob. Hi, Bob. Brian pointed his camera at me. And uh, so I just hit record, oh, good, good. and uh, yeah, no, I knew how to hit the record button. I just hit record, and so here we go. I'm just working on my uh, enclosure here, Hope, hoping for the best. What we've got here is the, a replica of the houseboat from the movie Anaconda. Um, and I've tried to recreate a, a jungle forest floor here with it. So we took a little trip to the hardware store because... Uh, and we just didn't quite have enough of the blues and the real feature of besides the obvious feature of which why does my camera never want to focus on my face it's so annoying uh the, the real feature of this uh enclosure besides the uh secret things that we brought from home of course is the blue sky and the beautiful blue sky that aurora's painting so um had it and I was gonna use it. Well, hi there. What are we doing? <laughs> I don't know. I just I thought you were talking to me. <laughs> oh, I'm not. I wasn't even filming any of that. I think I was filming none of that. That's what everybody else's enclosures are looking like. This is uh this is where ours is at right now. I think uh I think. I think we're okay. Are we Are we okay? We're okay. The moment of truth, we're going to film the first cloud of the enclosure. <laughs> it's a cloud! Good. Thank you. <laughs> the theme, I don't know if I've mentioned to you guys yet, the theme is, is hog heaven. And so the big white puffy clouds are kind of like the one thing that I knew for sure that I really wanted to have in the enclosure. And so this is like arguably the most important part, even though that's why there's been so much time spent on it. We're on the last like hour of the build. We're just doing it because it really needed to, these clouds and blue skies, that's really what it, what it needed to be. And so fortunately, I mean, Aurora was available to come because like, I don't think I'd be able to make these white puppy clouds so heavenly if she wasn't here doing it. So yeah, well, they're, just, they're just getting better. I actually really like the sponge. Oh, I like that. Oh, it's so good. There's so much depth. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I swear it's looking so good, so good. Right, um, is this gonna be okay if it's under the screen or does it need to be away from the screen? Okay, I think it's time for us to reveal like our home. I think it's time for us to reveal our home, our piece of home stuff. Here it is. It's a barn. It's a barn because it's this is hog heaven and hog heaven happens to take place on a barn in a farm. So that's that's what we got there. It's going in. 
Springtails and dairy cows going in. This is a bioactive enclosure and nothing like dairy cows on a farm, right? <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. Your, your Time's up! Pencils